Yeah, what's up, y'all? The caffeine with the face. The thumbnails. Uh. All right, let's do this. This is an old video that I've been wanting to do, but again, because fucking Paul had to go and use up my goddamn time by helping him move his shit. I couldn't do this damn thing, but <laughs> but uh, here I am. All right, so uh, let me see. Disable that. All right, so this is uh, one of early Paul's early video when he just started to move into the office, right? And like uh, something that people like brought up is that like uh, they were actually impressed on how good the audio sounds, even though there was like it was an empty room basically, right? Like uh, they were surprised that they didn't hear much echo or something like that, right? So. Uh, there's something that I did to actually reduce the amount of echo that was in the room, right? Now, uh, I didn't do much to this video, to this audio. The only thing I did was uh, I just boost up the audio by six, and I added a hard limiter at negative one, right? Just to keep my airs from exploding. There's a parametric equalizer. I don't know. I'm just gonna remove that for now. And this is basically the audio by itself. Welcome back to Paul's Tech News. If you couldn't tell, I'm reporting today from my new office, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit barren here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint. All right, so if you can hear it, <clears throat> obviously there's echo in the room, right? Because it was basically empty, right? And Paul didn't install his like uh, audio uh, panels in the back and all that stuff, right? So you do hear some echo. A desk, a computer, and that special ingredient internet access so I can bring you guys the tech news. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I did to like remove the echo. And it's really not that uh, complicated to be honest, right? And um, and if you have uh, DaVinci Resolve, you know, you're able to do the same thing using the equalizer, the equalizer filter that you know comes with the mixer over here, right? Same, same thing, right? DaVinci, when it comes to audio is that, if I play the audio, if we go to here to like, uh, what volume should my audio be for you? Yeah, you don't see anything, right? But the filter is still working, right? Do you Hey, it says here, YouTube normalizes the streams to audio level. However, if I do this on Premiere Pro and I have like a parametric equalizer. And if I play. Next comes like furniture and stuff, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, so you can actually see some waveforms, right? And like, uh, you don't see that at the moment inside of the visual result, right? So I'm hoping like they do um, add that down the line to get some more visuals uh, when you're doing audio, right? But uh, it's kind of like the main reason why I'm doing this in Premiere Pro. But like I said, you're still able to do the same thing in uh, DaVinci using the equalizer. You just have to like listen and find the same frequencies, right? But again, for this uh, tutorial, I want you guys to have a visual of what's going on. And you can also hear the difference, right? To start with, again, we're gonna hear the audio. My new office, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit barren here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint, a desk, a computer, and- All right, so you can hear a lot of echo in the background, right? And it's not that bad, but it's still there. And especially if you wanna, once you start adding some compression and some other stuff like that, it's just gonna amplify those uh, frequencies. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do using this um, equalizer is basically, well, two things, a high pass and a low pass, right? So that's what these things are. Uh, you should select the 48 decibels just to have a sharper cutoff, right? And then usually you want to cut off around like the 100 mark because everything below that is just like humps. You don't need that shit. Same thing with like uh, the this section over here. You want a low pass. Usually you want to go around like the 12,000 mark because everything up here is just like static noise, right? And again, I want to like a sharp, a sharp cutoff. So I'm going to do a 48 decibels or whatever the fuck. And that special ingredient, internet access, so I can bring you guys the tech news. Next comes like furniture. Right off the bat, it doesn't sound like it's doing much, but you are removing like nasty frequencies. Picture and stuff, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, so like all oh, this, it's just like a low hum, you're removing it, right? And like there's a lot of like uh, echo that is in the bass, right? So you want to remove that, as well as some nasty hisses here in the top, right? You can't mess with it. Despite my repeated requests that everyone just chill for this week so I can get set up in here, tech news. Fortunately, it was all either pretty good news or at least something we can make fun of Intel about. So a pretty stark contrast to the radioactive dumps. All right, so I guess on the high pass, being at 10,000 is good and like uh, the low pass 100 is pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, we're actually going to like search for like the nasty frequencies where you hear the echo the most. We're going to start more towards like the far end, the far right, which is like the higher frequencies and we can move back down, right? We're going to start with the number five. That's the first band, right? Oh yeah, a little side note. You're able to get like a band, like a high pass to cut off like uh, low frequencies and DaVinci and the same thing with like um, to cut off like the high frequencies and you know you got a band here, band here, you got to select these guys but the thing is uh, when you start like the say you want to start finding nasty frequencies and see this is band 5, you want to change the option from this to this guy that way you have like more of a bell and then you can start finding like the nasty frequencies that you want 14 to be negative 11 or 11 13 
Now, if you guys want to get really into like the whole audio thing, uh, see, you can hear like a whistle there. Look up something called LUFS. Now, now you can like just reduce that down just so you can reduce that nasty frequency. L-U-F in audio, right? And basically that's uh, loudness units relative to full scale. Basically it's like, so yeah, that's how you like do that in uh, DaVinci, you know. Be sure you like select from this uh, tuning fork looking thing to uh, almost like a bell thing or an open butthole, whatever you want to call this shit, but the way how they measure loudness in an overall video, right? We type in like, uh, so that's how you do it with uh, DaVinci, right? Now going back to Premiere Pro, we start scrolling as we're like um, playing back the audio. News, if you couldn't tell, I'm reporting today from my new office, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit bare in here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint, a desk, a computer. All right, right here you can hear like sizzling and also like high like uh, frequencies where Paul's speaking, right? And that special ingredient, internet access, so I can... All right, so right here we can actually reduce this down just to kill like that nasty frequency section. Let's go to number four. Uh, usually around this area between 1K and 4K, this is where most of like the echo is at. This is where most of like the human voice is at. Bring you guys the tech news. Next comes new office, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit bare in here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint, a desk, a computer, and that special ingredient, internet access, so I can bring... All right, so you can kind of hear like, it sounds very harsh around here, right? And you guys, the tech news. Next comes like furniture and stuff, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Despite my repeated request. Yeah, you should around 400, you always want to reduce. It's just like uh, like a known fact with audio around the 4K area. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna get in the, in another band. Just chill for this week so I can get set up in here. Tech news did still happen. Okay, you can hear more like the echo right here in the 2K area. Day from my new office, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit bare. So in this case, you can remove a good amount here. Don't be afraid to like go down a lot. Obviously, you don't want to go all the way down because then you're just killing your audio. But you want to be able to reduce enough echo so all you get is just basically the audio uh, from Paul's voice, not any background noise. Air in here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint, a desk, a computer, and that special ingredient, internet access. So I. All right. So right here, we're gonna usually you want to between the three and the four hundred area. There's always like a muffle that we want to remove. I can bring you guys the tech news. Next comes like furniture and stuff, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Despite my repeated requests that everyone just chill for this week so I could get set up in here, tech news did still happen, but fortunately it was- Yeah, you can kind of hear like the echo there. This, which I've been moving into this week. Things are still a little bit bare in here, but the functional elements are- in All right, this is like the last one, so I'm gonna see if I can find more uh, room echo to remove. Installed, fresh paint, a desk, a computer, and that special ingredient internet access so I can bring you guys the tech news. Chill for this week so I can get set up in here. Tech news did still happen, but fortunately it was all either pretty good news. All right, so then you get up with this kind of a mess, right? Now it does, it looks kind of crazy, but this basically all I'm doing here is I'm reducing like a lot of like the echo, right? By like, you know, cleaning up the audio using like the, the equalizer here, right? Things are still a little bit bare in here, but the functional elements are installed. Fresh paint, a desk, a computer, and that special ingredient internet access so I can bring you guys the tech news. Next comes like furniture and stuff, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right, so now basically since we removed the echo, now you're able to like basically add your, you know, your compression, you know, you can boost this up if you want. But now like, uh, since we found like the sections where like there's like a lot of like uh, uh, echo and stuff like that, we actually removed those frequencies or reduced the echo a bit. So now we can like, you know, do like, uh, the, like I said, we can boost up the audio a little bit more and you won't hear like the echo that much because we reduced them using this uh, equalizer, right? So. That's basically what I did to like uh, help remove any echo that was in Paul's audio because he had like an empty room, right? So if you're in that situation, then that's basically what you do. So uh, anyways, that's uh, all I got for you in this video. Hope it helps. QR codes, <laughs> hook it up with some coffee. A buck helps. I don't give a shit anything. We would appreciate it since uh, I, I accept the fact that my video, my YouTube channel is not going to get monetized because it cuts too much or whatever. And talk about anal bleach and shit, so... <laughs> It's, any help is appreciated, but either way, uh, if you guys can't, don't worry about it. Just leave a like and a comment and like uh, let me know if there's something else I can help you with. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. See you in the next one. Take care and peace.